welcome to my art class. Uh, when you first come in the door here, we have all of these shelves are portfolios, basically somewhere for the students to keep their work and keep everything together and keep it in the class. Uh, they design them and make them themselves. Uh, so that goes all along this way here. Up top you can see uh, it's section for the different grades and also we have our mobiles, which we did focusing on Alexander Calder. So you can kind of see those all the way across the ceiling here. Here's some more down that way, which is kind of nice. Uh, this way we have my de Kooning wall. We were focusing on Willem de Kooning, and they were looking at T to draw and themes that go around that. They would start with one image, put a viewfinder on it to abstract it some more, and come up with a second image. This is a nice one here. Here's a little bit different take on this one. Then it goes to that. So this is sixth grade work here. This is the materials table. Not a whole lot on it right now. Um, Got to put some more stuff on it, but uh, they know where to get their stuff. They always know to go to that table there. One of my paintings here. This is the informational board. Uh, pretty much day-to-day -day activities go on this board here. And the kids know to look at that. And they're sectioned off for sixth and the seventh and eighth go on this side. And to the left of that, kind of have my art class rules. Um, some different artwork all over the walls here. This is the Baining tribe that I focus on. Uh, some really nice ones that were done here. I like to put those up there. This, we have the informational wall, basically some terms that we're focusing on. I put the posters up, color wheel, my examples of work that we're going to be doing or that we have done already. So you can kind of see what we're going to be doing. Or if you're confused on something, they can always come up and check it out. This is box bots. That's box bots that I just made this year. For my sixth graders. There's more baining masks that I've created there. This is from our non-objective art here. Uh, I give them an object and then it's their job to make it non-objective. So this one was tree. So we drew the tree and then we put a viewfinder on that and then from there we got this. So I had to be inspired by that object and not in the end be that object. And we have more Calder mobiles here. A nice painting that my eighth graders did for a music video that we're creating. And that's the backdrop for it. Here is the agenda board. This has everything we're doing for whatever project we're doing. I focus on the artist, the movement, the nationality, uh, and then we talk about the objective, what we're gonna be doing, the project at hand, and then there's always terms that go along with it. So here you can see we're talking about Jackson Pollock, it's abstract expressionist, He's from Wyoming, so his nationality is USA. Students will be doing this. What we're working on, we're getting our cryptic marks, which is what I do with Jackson Pollock. And then terms that we're focusing on. Over this way, <clears throat> I have class points, so they can earn points for certain rewards. And this is where they can add them, get them taken away, different stuff like that. At the top here, we have teach a lesson artist. So I put up a different artist that has nothing to do with this stuff over here. And it's their job, the student's job, to teach my class. And they have to research about that artist, make a presentation, and they can get some extra points for their class in the class points section to do that. We got more sculptures here. And if we go this way, um, drawing racks, where they know to put their stuff if they're drawing it. Out here is what is known as the art yard. We have some clay pieces drying in the sun here. Nice kiln over here for firing. Shelves for storing. In this room, which is just inside from the, the kiln area, you could say it says recording in progress. We've been using it as a recording studio for a music video. It also has computers for research, uh, TV for making animation, and I'm in charge of the sound here at Verado, so I have a lot of the sound equipment in here. And uh, we use this to record stuff too for our music videos and things like that. Over in this direction, I have my office, which has a lot of the sound equipment in it. On this back counter, this is where we clean up. We have three nice sinks, and uh, materials are sometimes back here. They use these shelves to dry things or put things away. Uh, this is how my, shel or my counters and shelves always look. They're always nice and clean. This is after students have cleaned. I like to make sure it looks nice. There's 12 classes, so I like to keep it nice and clean so they can come in and 
use the things that they need to use. In these cupboards, we not only have all the students' grades, so they can come over here and check their grades and see how they're doing. If you open up these cupboards, I have bins that all the students can use um, and numbers that go with their table numbers, so they always know which one to grab, which one to use. Usually there's markers, colored pencils, um, depends on what we're doing for the project at hand. So that is pretty much my art room there and the things I focus on and some of the things I do. Mm -hmm.